Hello and welcome to Living Supernaturally. We've been looking at this whole topic of God imitators. How you and I as believers, we've been invited, called, instructed to be like him, to imitate him. In fact, scripture says that we are called to mimic God. And this we see in Ephesians chapter 5 and verse 1, which says, Therefore, be imitators of God as dear children. 3 John and verse 11 says, Beloved, do not imitate what is evil, but what is good. That's the first part of the verse. So we've been in instructed, we've been invited to be like him and uh, to mimic him in all aspects of life. And we've been looking at how we can be God imitators. We, are, we can be God imitators in, in terms of holiness, in terms of power, in terms of love and so on. So today we're going to look at one, one other aspect of how you and I can be imitators of God and that is in the area of ministry. And we've been called to each one of us, we've been called to follow him and do what he's called us to do. And that is also in the area of reaching out to others with the power, with the love of Jesus. In the book of uh, Acts chapter 10 and verse 38, this is how it reads. God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Spirit and with power who went about doing good and healing all who were oppressed by the devil for God was with him. So this verse shows that how the Lord, how God, the Father anointed the Son with the Holy Spirit. And so also we must be in order to do the works that he's called us to do. We have been invited to do the works of God. And in this aspect, to do the works of God, we've been invited to be God imitators. And firstly, we see that we need to be um, anointed, empowered by the Holy Spirit. Invite the Holy Spirit, uh, be anointed by Him, be empowered by Him in order to do the works that He's called us to do. Uh, well, we might say, okay, how can I do that? You know, how can I, it seems overwhelming. He is God and I'm not. But the fact is, in John chapter 14 and verse 12, the Lord Jesus said these words. He says, Most assuredly, I say to you, he who believes in me, the works that I do, he will do also. And greater works than these he will do, because I go to my Father. Now, the key is in the words of the Lord Jesus when he says, Because I go to my Father. He was going to the Father to send the Holy Spirit so that you and I may be empowered by the Holy Spirit and the works that we do will be by the Holy Spirit. These are supernatural works and the Lord says, uh, he who believes in me, the works that I do, he will do also and greater works than these. So instead of being intimidated or overwhelmed by the work, supernatural works of God, uh, definitely we, we are amazed by his uh, supernatural works and the thing is that these are for us as an example for us to follow and the Holy Spirit empowers us. The Lord Jesus was con continually led by the Holy Spirit and so also we also must be that we must be led by the Spirit of God. That, so that's the second thing. Firstly, to be empowered by the Holy Spirit. Secondly, to be led by the Holy Spirit. And uh, the Lord Jesus says, whatever I see the Father do, and the same I do also. So he was obedient. He was observant of what the Father was doing and what the Father's will was. And, and that was his whole thing. That he wanted to do the will of the Father. So he was obedient to the will of the Father. So we must also be to be empowered by the Holy Spirit, to be led by the Holy Spirit, and to be obedient to the will of the Father. And the Lord Jesus says that whatever works that he did, we will do. So, so in this manner, we are called to be imitators of God in our ministry. So let our ministry, let our serving or reaching out to people whether it be with the message of the gospel of Jesus Christ or with the, with the power of God to reach out and to pray for them, let it be with the power of the Holy Spirit. Let it be with the anointing of the Holy Spirit. And 
let it not be just mere words or human natural methods so with these words just want to encourage us to to reach out to lean in and let the holy spirit be our strength shall we pray father we thank you for this day thank you for this time and thank you for these words god what an awesome privilege to be invited by you to do the works that you did and you continue to do oh god father we pray that um, even as we are listening to this these these words that you would fill us that you would empower us by your holy spirit you yet you would make us sensitive to the leading of your spirit that we would be obedient to your will at all times and in all places and father we pray that you would so ordain and orchestrate circumstances that we might minister by the power of the holy spirit we thank you we love you in jesus name we pray amen thank you for tuning in to living supernaturally for more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk please visit apcwo.org